Hello my cheeky little starlets, we are in the beautiful city of Salani today. NANI? Bloody hell, Star, you think I'd get an intro right just this once. Yes, 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 I met the island of Solani and not the city of Solani. Yeah, I always mess up my intros all the time. Anyway, guys, this is part two of the tutorial for MC Command Center the mod. Make sure you check out part one if you haven't already done so because this mod is huge and I had to split, in, split it into two parts. In part one, we really did look at all the settings that you can get using a computer. Uh, there was one thing that I actually forgot to show you in the last episode, which I will run through now. Uh, if you love to cheat and enable cheats, and you're so fed up of just having to click Castful Edit Mode all the time, you can actually set it so it will automatically do it for you and enable cheats without you having to type them all in. What you need to do is click on a PC, a laptop in your house, click on MC Command Center. We are going to MC Settings. We are going to Notification Console, Menu Settings and Console Command Settings. And this is where you can enable all of your cheats. If you click Enable Full Edit Cast, um, I've already got it enabled, you can enable cast full edit mode so you don't have to keep repeating retyping it in to the cheat bar but uh, there's testing cheats so have that enabled you can have that enabled all the time you've got headlines effects on and off that's basically i'll show you here if you disable the um the headline effects it would just disable the plumb bob as you can see if you get rid of the plumb bob though, it gets rid of the sim's name. So I only actually get rid of the plumb bob if I'm recording a cinematic scene or doing a screenshot for pose. And hover effects, enable and disable. So if you disable it, the uh, effects such as a white out outline around the sim and objects will always be hidden upon loading the game. I've just enabled hover effects because so I'm not really bothered about that. I'm building by settings for those keen builders out there. Uh, you can enable all the build and buy option cheats without you having to continuously have to type them in. So you've got buy de debug, which I've enabled, show live enabled, move objects, which is the bb.move objects cheats, free build enabled, and ignore unlocks enabled. I just show you something. You just enable enable the cheats that you want to be present in your game every time you load it. Like I said, if you do enable or enable them, then you will need to restart your game um, for the changes to take effect. I've already got them enabled, so I won't need to restart. And in this part of the tutorial, I did say that I would show you how to change weather and change time, which I will show you. There's also so many other things that I also want to show you too. I will start with showing you um, how we change world time and change weather. But like I said before, there are three ways in which you can enable settings and change settings in MCC Command Center. One is by using a computer, which is the main hub. The second way is by clicking on the post box. And the third way is to by clicking on your sim. So to change any worldly events, world time or seasons or weather or anything, you click on the post box and click on MC Cheats. Uh, I will change well time so for now it's 12 32 a.m. and we can change the day by clicking off the days like days offset 0 to 3 to 6 change the world time by the specific day and hours offset uh, I want to change the time so I want to increase the hours by about 5 and that's done that. As you can see, it's now Tuesday 5.33 a.m. when it used to be 12.33 a.m. And now I will show you how to change seasons and weather. You click on season cheats and then you can click the change the season. You can change it to summer, fall, winter, spring, whatever. So currently it's summer in Solani. I actually want to see um, 
what it would look like as winter so I'm going to change it to winter and now it's start of winter and I want to change the weather because it's too nice here I'm going to change it so I'm going to change the weather to heavy a uh, rainy storm cloud and I'm going to have it for six hours and this is so good if you want to change this weather for a story or for an LP that you're doing because I know how frustrating it is you're planning a wedding and then it starts raining and you're like no why did this have to happen to me I wish it was sunny now you can actually change it it's starting to rain can you see that there's gonna be a rainstorm let's get my cover out here and we will play in the rain there's so many other things you can do with the weather as well so I'm still in weather a random light strike sim Random lightning strikes, let's click on that. Randomly gener generate a bolt of lightning somewhere in the current zone. Warning, something or someone may be struck by the lightning. Let's give that a go and see what the ha- Oh! Oh my god, I always freak out on lightning strikes. And I have renamed him McCotty Hot Stuff uh, and not Makoa because basically, like, EA has done well with this sim. Like, he is one of the hottest sims in the sim world, so why not rename him that? So look at that, we're in a rainstorm now. Whoa, we got struck by lightning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh dear, poor Makoa is, um... Sorry, Makoa, sorry. I, oh, I did not mean for you to be struck by lightning, or did I? So, this is the NPC household sheets. You can summon a sim here. Uh, any sim that you want that, that's in the game. So let's say you can summon this sim by name. List all sims. List no ghosts. I'm going to summon Jax Villarreal. Oh, look at that. And if you can see in the notification bar there, Jax Villarreal will be right over. So you can summon any, any sim that you want. Which is sometimes helpful if you can't invite sims over or you haven't got a friendship. Uh, deletion cheats. You can delete all your sims if you want delete any homeless sims this is really good if you've got too many t types of sims like if you've got loads of like ghosts or something De or you can delete all the unplayed sims delete by a cult so you can delete all the aliens if you want or vampires or mermaids or homeless ghosts or delete all ghosts if you're just sick of ghosts i don't tend to delete um a category of sims because that scares me but if you've got loads of ghosts and you just want to get rid of them go and delete them so we're going to look into active household cheats here so this will affect the household on your lot um you can fill all the needs of your household by just clicking here which i'm going to do everyone in my sim household is happy you can humanize all aliens if you want if you're sick to death of aliens or humanize or vampires there's so all the different cults you can humanize so there's the basic changes you can make via a post box the next one i'm going to show you is actually changing settings on your sim specifically so if you click on the sim let's click on holly mccott stuff for a second it actually lists the sim info so it'll give his name his age his spouse his kingship his current children and his career so you get all that information just by clicking on a sim and it doesn't have to be a sim in your household it can actually be any sim it can be an npc sim you can click on, the, click on them and find out their information you can actually go into mc cast you can set their sim voice you can change their voice type speed you can say change their pitch if you want i kind of like his pitch so i'm going to leave it you can set the physique you can set him to be fit fat i want to keep him fit you can actually copy and paste certain looks so if you've got certain hairs that you want to copy and paste for all outfits you can do that in this copy and paste section here you can change his personality traits without having to go to mc cast so click on that you can just change it here make him cheerful and this is one of my favorite things you can actually increase funds cheat the sim info Make happy, complete your aspiration goal, reset aspiration, ad abduct a sim, or reset a sim here. So you can cheat a skill if you want. You can set a skill in whatever skill that you want them to set as. So if you want them to be in media production, you can set the skill to five and max him out. Or you can max all skills or forget all skills. And then you can set his mood, you can add, remove buffs, 
Gucci emotion intensity or add a buff. Oh look, Jacques Villarreal has finally made it over. And this is one of my favorite things, which is MC Dresser. I know you can change an outfit by clicking on actions on a sim, but you have to actually wait for them to do that action. With MC Dresser, they can do that automatically and change an outfit. But you just click change outfit and you can put them in any outfit you want and then it will do it automatically. As you can see, he is, you can't really see it properly now, but it's burnt, as he's burnt. He is, um, he changes outfit automatically there, which is brilliant. We've got MC Pregnancy. If you ha I haven't already seen part one, I actually explain how you set, uh, enable male pregnancy. But if you've enabled that, you can actually start a pregnancy. So I can start his pregnancy and I can see who I want to be. Um, the father or the mother of that child and see how many babies I want so I can if I want I can have, I can set the amount of children I want I want three males and set the pregnancy phase so you can set whichever phase that you want if you want to quicken things up speed things up you can put them in labor you can actually end the pregnancy completely so remove the pregnancy you can change your partner you can pause the pregnancy you can list his children here and as you can see Makara looks very very pregnant and he's about to go into labor which is fun oh i got struck by lightning how did that happen in my own house i can actually edit relationships if i click on a sim so i can add a relationship add a relationship with sim a lot delete a relationship or clear all relationship i can divorce someone if i want divorce mccotty hot stuff and liliana hot stuff and then we can add a relationship so i can add a relationship with star you now the husband and wife and if you have a look at myself i am now listed as mccotty mccott stuff spouse which is absolutely brilliant so those are the main settings that you're going to be using i didn't go through every single type of type of settings because otherwise this tutorial will be way too long thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you do have any problems or want to ask any questions then pop a comment um for me and i will try and respond to you as quickly as possible thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye